Hi guys! Today I'm gonna show you an unboxing of the uh, Mobius uh, Mini. Uh, like I've said in my earlier videos, I'm gonna use this camera on my uh, uh, 130 mm frame here. I'm gonna remove this uh, HS 1177 and just uh, have the Mobius on the top here. So let's see what's in the box. <coughs> Um, this is bought from Banggood. It takes a while to get it shipped, but uh, it's worth the wait, I think. Okay, here it is. You can see it's really small. Uh, actually, it's much smaller than you believe when you see it on uh, videos on YouTube. This is uh, this is so tiny um, compared to my GoPro and other action cameras. This is like. Uh, more than less than half the size of them so uh, it's really nice and uh, what I have uh, based on what I have read and seen uh, uh, the video quality in 1080 60 frames per second uh, modus this is gonna be a very good video it comes with a cap and you can see the lens here very very nice so let's uh, try it quickly to see how it will fit to the frame. <laughs> you know, this is a small frame and you can see the camera on top. It's going to be like no problem for this frame. Uh, actually, uh, it's, um, I don't know if you can see it, but uh, let's turn it around. You can see uh, the um, HS1177 is a much bigger lens and uh, uh, this is uh, this is uh, smaller in um, uh, smaller than the HS seventy seven. Of course, it's longer, but uh, yeah, you know what I mean. This is gonna be so nice. For what I have read about this one, uh, very good the picture quality and a lot of uh, things uh, can be adjusted, and uh, so there should be a lot of possibilities. So let's uh, look further in the box here. Looks like a face. You see that? <laughs> Quite funny. Um, inside here, there are some cables and stuff. Yeah. As you can see, there are um, the uh, tripod mount, extra cap, the uh, USB cable, and uh, video cable, which I'm going to use. Course. In the box there, that's it. Yes, no user manual. No, we don't need that. You can find that on the internet. So that's no problem. Let's uh, unpack this uh, cable package. Yeah, like I said, USB. Uh, this is the most, most important cable. It has the USB and on the out. The put of this cable we have um, power and video I guess this one is video and the other one is audio I am only going to use the uh, video cable not uh, the power or anything because on this uh, small frame uh, I will not uh, drain the main battery with the power to the camera this will uh, this will be charged and it, it will do the flight time I, I need uh, so that's no problem very very nice I'm so looking forward to uh, flying this drone with this camera uh, if this works out well which I think it will I will have a small robust frame here which can fly almost everywhere uh, will be very fast and agile with these uh, red bottom uh, 1306 motors and with this excellent camera, I can uh, do some really good shooting. Uh, one thing I'm kind of thinking a little bit about is the balance of this uh, this quad, because it has to be very op uh, optimum uh, balanced, uh, so I can get rid of vibrations, so there will be no jello effect. But that's uh, that's possible to do. So it's just uh, frankly, it's, it's just a job that uh, needs to be done. So. Um, Keep on watching and I will show you how this uh, how this will work. Uh, right now I have mounted the camera on top here with the, I've used some velcro 
just to have the possibility to take it off as you can see and I also okay oops started it install the uh, cable here to into a few tab contact here and uh, from here it goes back to the video transmitter and, and the uh, power distribution board so really a clean install as you can see it's really small one thing I noticed is that this uh, cable has a big, huge contact there so when I'm installing the battery it will like uh, crash into this one uh, I have tried to fly, fly it and uh, what I had to do was uh, to, to get a good balance uh, in this quadcopter I had to move the camera a little bit forward so that uh, kind of concerns me because when I land like this uh, if I land like this and I probably will um, the camera will um, take a hit so uh, what I have been thinking about is to actually remove the video camera so I don't use this as a FPV camera and install a small uh, FPV camera in here again and just use this for uh, re um, recording my flight footage in that way I get rid of this uh, contact and I can balance the battery uh, the way I want <clears throat> another solution is of course to to move the strap the other way and, and uh, put the battery like this and that is really possible so I don't know right now what I'm going to do, but uh, both things uh, are possible. Uh, right now they are winter here where I live, so there's a lot of snow outside, so I don't have uh, much time to get out and try this. I don't want this to get wet and everything, so uh, right now I cannot show you footage from outside, but I'm going to try a little hover so you can see how it balances and uh, how it looks. I think it looks really cool uh, the way it is uh, now. Okay, here we go. Thank you. 